Hello friends. Today we will discuss some gate questions asked in the gate examination from transportation engineering and they, they are these kind of questions which can be solved in a very less time. So in a minute also you can solve these kind of questions. So what we will do is first we will see the conventional approach and then we will see whether it is possible to crack these questions by a shortcut or not. So I am taking an example of transportation engineering and the question was asked in gate 2006 gate 2006 and this question was from traffic engineering and the question said on an urban road the free mean speed was measured as 70 kmph so he says free mean speed it is equal to 70 kmph and average spacing between the vehicles under jam condition is 7 meters so he says spacing equal to 7 meters then he says the speed flow density equation is given by u equal to usf 1 minus k divided by kj and q equal to u into k. This was given to us and he says he is asking the maximum flow for this condition is dash. So he is asking us to calculate what is the q max. So if we follow the conventional approach, what we will do is, since we know that Q equal to U into K, so we have an expression for U, let us substitute U over here. So Q will be equal to USF into 1 minus K divided by KJ. This is U and into K. So this particular thing will become Q equal to USF is a constant into K minus K square divided by KJ. So this is the expression for Q. Now what he is asking is, he is asking what is Q max and we know that if you want to maximize Q, what we will do is we will differentiate this particular Q. That means DQ divided by DK equal to 0. So when you differentiate this particular thing with respect with respect to k equal to 0. So what we will get is, we will get a relation between k and kj. k will be equal to kj by 2. k equal to kj by 2. And what you have to do is, on substituting this value of k, at this value of k, your q will be maximum. So we know that q equal to this. Substitute k equal to kj in this expression, you will get q equal to q max. So q max will be equal to usf into kj by 2 minus kj by 2 whole square divided by kj. So this particular thing will give you the value of q max. Now the unknown here is kj. We already know usf, it is given in the question as 70 kmph. kj, for kj to calculate kj, he is saying average spacing is 7 meters. So if you assume a stretch of 1 kilometer, since we know that density is vehicles per kilometer. So in a span of 1 kilometer length, the average spacing is how much? 7 meters. So kj will be equal to 1000 divided by 7, 1000 divided by 7, which is equal to 143 vehicles per kilometer. So this is your USF in this expression, q max will be equal to 25 double zero vehicles per hour. Substituting both this kj and usf in this expression, you will get q max equal to 2500 vehicles per hour. Now this is the conventional approach. Now if you want to apply a shortcut, it is very simple. What you do is, in the question, it is given that usf equal to 70 kmph and just calculate the value of kj like this. 1000 divided by 7, that will give you kj. Once you know USF and once you know KJ, what we can do is, we know that for Q max, Q max, it is equal to USF into KJ divided by 4. We have a direct application of this particular thing. So, this is equal to USF is 70 into 143 divided by 4, which is equal to 2500 vehicles per hour. So, 
Again, by applying a shortcut, you can save a lot of time in the examination. So the answer is 2500 vehicles per hour.